and empty party suburbia to bring you another one. And up ahead, the one time Northern Central crossed. Railroad Avenue, there's your clue. From left to right, on its way to York, and other points north, right through there. For the longest time, there was underpass for the road beneath the tracks, but it got filled in in the late 80s. But just leapfrogged over to the freeway in hopes of getting back some of the time I lost trudging through suburbia. But up here, our exit, we're not going to see Parkton though. We're going the other way. More often than not, I use this as a return route as it's getting dark later on in the evening. Well, here it is in the daytime. I wish there was more to it, though. A road closure. Not ours, that's good. This road will take us north of the border, north of the Mason-Dixon, that is. But every now and then, you'll get some eye candy. Not much, though. I know, passing through Middletown, the road's namesake. And that's it for Middletown. Idiot passing there with oncoming traffic. Anyway, more eye candy for you. You know, if you don't go passing with one of those big things coming at you, I have a life I have to finish living. Anyway, up here someplace, we'll cross the Mason-Dixon into Pennsylvania. I'll grab the next couple of bends. Here, I'll show you. That way you'll believe me. At the top of that little hill crest there is the state line, the Mason-Dixon. Right here. Now officially in Pennsylvania. And now we're officially foreigners. Oh no, forgot my passport. And in case you're curious, now following PA 851. I can't see again. How old could that be? Now on PA-216, as you saw. And coming into Glenville. But we got a detour. Guess I'll follow it. Maybe I'll discover a new road. Haven't been this way before. We'll call the crossing of the Western Maryland Railway. Now CSX. Oh, it's already worth it. Wonder how often they run it. This is their Hanover line to Hanover, PA. I might have been on this road before, coming the other way, but I forgot. I've been on so many roads, I can't remember all the roads I've been on. Interesting Pennsylvanian clouds, though. Yeah, Pennsylvanian clouds. Cool name. Open up our head. 
A detour turns. So I guess we'll turn with it. Hold on. Now here's a first time road for sure. Never seen all this before. A mountain view. All right. Kinda, sorta. I just wonder how far back some of this stuff was last lived in whenever you see it. Especially when you see something like that. Up ahead, back at Main Route 216 again. All right. Up ahead, turn left. We're back on course. We're now passing through Cadores State Park, as we have before. We're now crossing Cadores Lake over there somewhere. I tried. I thought I'd stop and get you a better shot of Lake Cadoris. Or Cadoris Lake, however they say it. Not a bad day today. Temps around 70. Slight breeze. Even some boating going on. It's a man-made lake, created a ways back for recreational purposes. Now we've departed Cadoris. All the bigger and better things, I guess. In our next hot spot. Hanover. And some architecture here in Hanover. Quaint row houses. But as I keep saying, at least they're being kept up. Now approaching the center of town. Sandy Woods, what's that? I'm a turtle dad with an occasional rat. And now we're north on PA 94, which I brought over before on Day Odysseys. We're about to cross a couple of rail lines, both of which are now part of CSX. Western Maryland, and then a former Conrail line. I think I got that right. And of course, Hanover is the home of Hutt's Potato Chips, which will be passing up ahead soon. And there it is. You still give out free samples? What's the sign say? A trick or treat. It's almost Halloween. Anyway, not departing Hanover. But again, on to better things. At least the sun's back out, but it comes and goes, just as we do. And up ahead, US 30, Lincoln Highway. 
which have also taken you over toward other odysseys. Now around 4 p.m. In the distance, Blue Mountain. Now passing through Hampton, PA. Another quaint hamlet. But what other kind of hamlet is there? And it's already departing. But up here we depart this highway in favor of East 234. Look at all those pumpkins. They're out of their gourd. And one more first time road for me. How about for you? And even this road has an occasional relic. Looking good though. Now coming into a place called East Berlin. Again, well kept up for the most part. Ninety-four. I've seen that road before, but we're staying on this one for now. It's nice seeing the old homes, as long as they're kept up. And apparently now departing. Not too bad of a drive along this road. And more old structures. Nice day for a walk down the highway. At least on the proper side of the street, walking to his left. Looking for oncoming traffic that might splatter him or something. And more stuff dating back a couple hundred years. But as I keep saying, at least kept up. And again, a crossing of sorts. Probably one of those lines we saw crossing back in Hanover. We should soon be approaching the York area. But I think we are. Up here is old US 30. Now it's 462. This was US 30 until the early 1960s when it got bypassed around the town. I'm not coming into some place called West York. I guess a separate jurisdiction from the main York. Best I can explain it. And up here, another former Western Maryland line. Now, of course, part of CSX. Now we're in the original, the main York, as I said. Best way I can describe it. And ahead, again the northern central, but up here it's street trackage through Pershing Avenue. And over there, the original York County Courthouse, again kept up. Before going any further, 
let us stop and give you another look at the former York Station of the Pennsylvania Railroad's Northern Central Division. The last train to stop here, the passenger train that is, was 1971 before the creation of Amtrak. That's north on the line. The compass direction is almost due east. And looking west, but you see the track curving to the south up ahead there across the crossing. The curves to the south to the left that goes down Pershing Avenue as I showed you a few minutes ago. But now it's a bus station and not a train station. Oh geez. Wrong kind of station. And back on the road and up here at the former crossing of the Western Maryland, now operated by CSX, while the central track, as you just saw, is operated by Norfolk Southern. No train horn, so you better watch out. And now passing through North York, separate from York, Now departing all of the Yorks. Gonna try and find some more northern central spots for you. And now entering Emmicksville. There's a YouTuber up here who gets videos of distant train horns on the central and posts them. You only hear the horn, you don't see the train. Turned off the main road to check out this northern central crossing here. North be that direction. Gonna see if there are any more train stations left along that line. And now we're entering Manchester, PA. My first time showing you this place. It's almost deserted. Okay, go east. I'm gonna head for Mount Wolf. Let's see what the central looks like there. Again, first time this way. And here it is. Along with the central. Well, two tracks here. Hang a left. Got a building there looking a lot like a former station. The track behind it. And now behind the building, I thought to be the station, but it isn't. Anyway, here is the Northern Central looking north. Compass direction, northeast at this point. And south to the crossing we just crossed. But actually, right over there, somewhere, there we go. Yep, that's our station, Mount Wolf Station, in use until 1971. And over here, part of the platform is still left, this asphalt platform. You can tell by the wide right of way that there were at least two tracks here, if not three.
and on the south side of the station, could that be an outhouse? I guess back then that's all they had. Yeah, I guess it's safe to say this is the old station. Obviously, a track would have passed here at one time, right by the station building. And now the back of the station. Apparently there's a track that passed here at one time behind it. And over there a building in ruins, and getting more ruined. I guess it's safe to say that the building's been condemned. But apparently the line does still serve some industry here. And going south to Baltimore, it becomes Baltimore's light rail system. And to the north it goes to Sunbury and Halifax. Now departing Mount Wolf. I'll look for another central spot that I can bring you. A little wet road. And up here, passing beneath the central. Yeah, that's it up there. I'm just gonna watch these tight turns here in Pennsylvania. And elsewhere too. And now heading into the woods. We should soon be down by the river. And again, passing beneath the central. On the line over there is the connection track going to the CNPD, to the Columbian Port Deposit Line. They both meet up there someplace. And here is some industry served by the Central. Don't know what though. A power plant maybe? First time seeing all this, just as you are. Here the row of rail cars comes to an end. And up here to the crossing. Let's see if I can determine what's here. Oh, the connection track to the central from that yard back there. Okay. That goes to the central, that direction. There's one more locality up the road that the central passed through. I'll see if there's a station there. And up here, apparently, we cross the main line again. The Central's main line. Well, who's that waddling along? Well, a fisherman. And he waved. Up here's the main line. Looking south towards the junction. As we enter York Haven. Well, Barry's Bait Shop. All right. Got mealworms for us frogs. I thought there'd be a station here, but I guess long gone. Or maybe it never was. I don't know. Got to do some more research on that. And directly in front of us, a great view of the Susquehanna River. A fantastic view. There's the whole thing. And over there, Three Mile Island nuclear plant.
there's one more locality on this road I might check out again. Yokels blocking part of the road. Which I guess is cool. For now. I emphasize for now. But again, my first time along this road. But we should be arriving someplace soon. In fact, we are. When the speed limit cuts down to 25, we're arriving. A place called Goldsboro. I brought you here a couple years ago. Well, deja vu one more time. My first time seeing this part of Goldsboro. There you go. There's a park down by the river. We'll check out. Again. And some Goldsboro stuff here for you. Nice old quaint hamlets. Shakespearean plays, whatever. And the town center, here's a circle. You know your center town when you see that. Okay, turn right, head for the river. From this point, doing it's deja vu. And again, the central. Maybe it'd be great to get a train right now, a freight of some kind. A double track here, but at one time four or five tracks, obviously. Most of the line is still intact. Just one part of it's missing. Between Cockeysville, Maryland, and New Freedom, Pennsylvania. The rest still has track. In the park you visited a couple years ago. I believe a couple years ago. I look in the Susquehanna. And now down by Susquehanna. In the background again, Three Mile Island nuclear power plant, where they had that disaster back in 79. And more boating going on. Part of a lake here. Even a lake that has its own name, aside from the Susquehanna. And there's its name. Lake Frederick, without the K on the end. And apparently popular with fishermen and boaters. And some stuff there across the river to the northeast. To the north, actually. But I guess when I get back to the vehicle, the temperature is dropping. Probably in the mid to low 60s right now. Low to mid 60s, whatever. I got it backwards. And because of Dolly's foot injury she suffered last week at Harper's Ferry, she can't do much walking around herself right now. But she is improving. Now we're departing the river area and about to recross the central. Apparently, it was electric at this point at one time. I got some catenary poles down there. And back in the center of town. Now, what's the best way out of here? I guess straight ahead. Nice old building there. You work downstairs and live upstairs. No excuse to be late for work. All right, up and out we go.
just got off the state highway. So I can take one more road I never took before. This one. Might have been this way. But again, I can't remember. We'll be losing light pretty soon. So I guess head back to the big city. Even though I hate to. But now we've come to I-83. So might as well get on it, heading south. And they say my busy I-83. Even very busy going north, the opposite direction. A busy Saturday. And back in the York area. Part of the York area. And yeah, getting dark out there. It's now a night odyssey. Not as much traffic here though, south of York. What's up with all the flashing lights? Oh, take evasive action. something. And now, cross it back into Maryland. There is proof. Still got a few miles to go, though. We got off there earlier today, as you recall. I assume you recall. off the freeway and back in suburbia. And you guessed it. Back in the hood. Around 7.45 p.m. Temps now down to about the upper 50s. And they should be tipping lower tonight. Be colder yet tomorrow. But again, thank you very much for the privilege of your time. And for your support over the years. Much appreciated during our trying times these days. Hope you enjoyed the ride. I'll take you more on your roads again sometime.